I've, I've, I've sent a message. I, I've told him I'm fighting a pro boxer before you and you had a three year head start. What does that say? Yes, you fought MMA fighters, but I've been sparring MMA fighters. Yes, you've been fighting uh, a basketball player. All right, cool, I'm fighting a rapper. Now what? Like, I'm doing two in one. You ain't done that. He ain't done two fights in one. Uh, who's, who's done that? I literally told Mams, all right, let's call him out on this bullshit. Let's fucking go. But Mams told me, like, this is his tactic to try and slow down the event or make the event not happen. Because if we, give, if we gave him a contract, and we were like, this is it. He'll be like, no, this doesn't work or this doesn't work. And then it'll just be a lot back and forth. And guess what? I'd have no event at the end of the day. Or I'd be shadow boxing for the main event. You know what I mean? So for me, I knew it was bullshit. And I knew we had to move fast and act quickly and make things happen. And, you know, it was all of our, all of our ideas to go, why not fight two people at once? Is your next fight going to be Jake Paul in 2023? Uh, is my next fight? Uh, no, my next fight is not going to be Jay Paul. No, uh, I'm pretty sure he's got other fights involved, but I'm going to be fighting. I, I put some names in the list. Uh, I think Tommy Fury is one of them. Dylan Dennis, uh, the winner of Temper versus Slim or the winner of Austin versus Gibb. You know, these are names that I'm putting in the list that I want to fight next. You know, I want to keep up in the levels.